welcome you to this adventure that some of us have been on since January and most of us have been on since April. To a group of existing federal artists and people from the community, we sort of had opportunities to dream 12 ideas into being. We then did an open casting call. Every single person who auditioned is part of this cast, as long as their schedule fit and it worked. And tonight we take great pleasure as a group in presenting set A. We are here at the Mixed Blood Theater where this event is going to be happening this Wednesday through Saturday. Um, I am working on this process and have been blessed to work on this process um, with Bedlam Theater. My co-curator's name is Molly Van Avery and we started working with the theme of play with what you got. Um, coming off of last year and sort of all the challenges that so many people had, it was the idea of starting where we were, beginning anew, and sort of figuring out in the mix of everything how we could make something new and playful and fun. We worked in a process that um, allowed people from both sort of experienced artists and community members to sort of come and grow ideas through a series of workshops. There are two different sets. You'll come, you'll start at Mixed Blood sort of in a traditional lobby experience, and then we'll make sure you get marked and tagged. We'll be using wristbands, and we will take you on a journey through different parts of the building. I'm proud to say that we, the Shenanigistas, have devised specialized maps <clears throat> and diagrams with arrows and circles. And, and by using our secret decoder rings, we have come up with a foolproof plan. We shall be your unflappable guides, your undaunted usheristas, so that you, the audience, can simply follow your leader and leave the complications to us. I'm Andrea Fairbanks, and the play I wrote is My Only Sunshine, and it's based on when my daughter Mijikwood was born, or the whole process of her being born, everything, everything that led up to it. The hospital, they accused me of being a drug addict, and I don't drink or do drugs or anything. But um, they said they found barbiturates in my blood, and I kind of kind of freaked out, but I, I was scared because I was like thinking, what if they steal my baby? So, I was like, so when my when I was pregnant, I kept talking to this baby in my belly in Ojibwe, and right when she was born, everybody knew that I only wanted her, I wanted her to hear only Ojibwe. So in the play, when this baby's born, then um, the girl playing me right here, Marissa Carr, she talks to the baby in Ojibwe. Alright, I am Ifra Mansour and I am just making the backstage of my show called Fashion and the preview description says it's um, this is a show of a new designer called the Khan and he's just premiering his first line ever. He's premiering with an eco-friendly line. Um, so it's definitely an exploration of beauty um, and fashion production. Uh, I wrote it and I directed yes. parts of it. What? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. Cosby's ass. Her yeah. Cosby's ass. Your Cosby's ass. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's what we did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to go to. Hey, you got some Cheetos? Alright, bye. Bye. I'm Lisa Channer. I'm Samantha Johns. And I'm Billy Mullaney. We're part of Date the Audience. We created it together. We all worked on it together. We date the Audience in three minute segments uh, based on menus that the audience fills out in advance. First day for Lisa Channer is great. <laughs> Uh, my name is Clarabel Gross and this show is called Una Lesión para Volar or A Flying Lesson and we're doing the Bedlam's Ten Fest and we wrote a bilingual piece and created it together as an ensemble um, and then we cast it through the Bedlam Ten Fest auditions which is everybody that auditions gets in and then we worked on it for a whole bunch of weeks and we're doing our piece outside. It's a, a story about a girl who loses her flying dreams and um, travels to the top of a mountain to jump off. Um, in order to get her flying dreams back. And on, along the way she meets a bird who can't fly, uh, but he walks her to the top of the mountain. Si, si, te escuché, flaco. No. No 
sé dónde estamos. No puedo estar segura con tanta neblina.